Unit 7, Organic Chemistry. All right, important stuff to remember about organic chemistry. Organic compounds consist of carbon atoms and hydrogen atoms in chains, rings, and networks. Although we're going to deal mostly with ones in chains to form all sorts of structures. They're named according to the IUPAC system. And so you have to remember the system that we learned in class for naming these is called the IUPAC system. You're going to use table P, table Q, and table R to help you name them. So you're going to be using the tables P, Q, and R for naming organic compounds. Saturated hydrocarbons contain all single carbon to carbon bonds. C, 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 C. This would be saturated. Unsaturated hydrocarbons contain at least one multiple bond. C, C, double bond to a C, or a triple bond to a C. These, when it's all single bonds, are alkanes. These, when there's at least one double bond, are alkenes. And these, where there's at least one triple bond, are alkynes. And you don't even have to remember that because it's right here on table Q. Single bonds only, alkanes, the name ends in ane. A double bond, alkenes, the name ends in ene. Triple bond, alkynes, the name ends in ine. The general formula for these hydrocarbons, for alkanes, for however many carbons, there's n carbons, there will be two n plus two hydrogens. So if there's three carbons, there will be three times two is six, plus two, eight hydrogens. Alkenes, if there's three carbons, there will be six hydrogens. Alkynes, if there's three carbons, there will be six minus two, or four hydrogens. All right, so there's all sorts of organic molecules. I'm not going to make you write them down because they're all here on table R. Halides, alcohols, ethers, aldehydes, ketones, organic acids, esters, and then much less used in chemistry, amines and amides. The functional group is what makes the organic molecule the type that it is. So halides will have a fluorine, chlorine, bromine, or iodine. Alcohol is an OH, ether, an O, and this means that there's carbons on either side. This line here, to be an aldehyde, means that there's going to be carbons over here. Ketone, carbon, and carbon. So anytime you see one of these lines, it's empty. Here, there's a carbon on the other side of the line. Okay? Need to remember isomers. Right, where isotope, as you remember, well, hopefully, 
meant uh, same number of protons, different number of neutrons. Isomer means same molecular formula, different structural formula. And we did a lot of those in class. All right, just a reminder about bonds. Yeah, actually, we can look at them here. All right, each one of these lines represents a chemical bond, and the line represents a shared pair of electrons. So if we see this, it's the same as this. One shared pair or two electrons. A double bond, two shared pairs or four electrons. Two pair or four electrons. Triple bond, three pair or six electrons. All right, finally, types of organic reactions you got. Addition. Okay. An addition is going to involve, if you have a double bond, like so, and you add something to it, let's say we add more hydrogens to this, and we get kind of breaking the double bond to add the hydrogens. Okay, that's addition substitution, you have something that's already saturated. Alright, so we're going to add bromine to this ethane, and we'll end up with bromoethane and hydrogen bromide. So the, we substitute a bromine for one of the hydrogens, and this hydrogen that got kicked out is going to bond with the bromine. That would be an example of substitution. Substitution. All right, next, polymerization. Just like it was in uh, biology last year, you're making a long chain, which is called a polymer from smaller subunits, which are called monomers. Esterification. Making an ester from an organic acid and an alcohol. Right? C C C O O H plus an alcohol. I'm going to draw the alcohol sort of backwards. Okay? You get dehydration synthesis. making something by removing water. So here's our water. So we end up with this water and I'm going to draw C C C O O C C C O O and then this oxygen is going to bond to this carbon for my two carbons. And I went from propanoic acid and ethanol to ethyl, one, two, three, prop, and I'll eat. Right. A couple more reactions and we're done. Fermentation. Sugar, 
plus yeast is going to make alcohol and CO2. Okay, the key part there is the yeast doing the fermentation. Saponification, making soap and combustion, we've been doing that for a long time. Some sort of hydrocarbon, CXHY, however many there are. You need oxygen to burn. You make CO2 plus H2O and heat. All right, that brings us to the end. I will see you guys in school.